Good morning, everybody. Um, Hi, Roger. Morning. Uh, and if we um, could uh, mute everyone apart from me now, if that's possible. Uh, yeah, as long as Joe, you unmute yourself in a second. Yeah. I'll, I'll do okay. that. Great. Good. Well, it's lovely to have everybody with us, both here physically in the church and on Zoom. Um, great that we can be together, at least uh, in some way, rather than not at all, and um, uh, still continuing to look forward with eagerness to uh, the moment when we're able to be together properly. And um, lots of encouraging news about uh, people getting their vaccinations um, from the congregation, so that's great. Um, and we hope to see that continuing over the next few weeks and months. Uh, we're going to take a moment at the beginning of the service just to seal our hearts. Uh, then I'll give a, a few notices. Well, uh, um, there are no particular notices today. Um, so we'll, we'll then carry on straight into the service, which you can follow on the service sheet that was sent out last night. Um, but we'll just take a moment uh, together to seal our hearts before God um, as we come into his presence. Yes, he's talking to you. Press a certain button to get rid of them. And so we begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. With you. Well, we're going to uh, sing uh, together, and this uh, the hymns today uh, have all been recorded um, in St. Ia Church, and you'll recognise uh, the singers as well uh, from today. Um, mm. So thank you to our musicians for being part of that. Um, if you um, uh, would be, like to be part of our music, then do, do let me know and we'll see if we can arrange that. Um, but we're going to sing together, Love Divine, All Loves Excelling. <laughs>
muted. It was unmuted. Was it unmute me? It was already unmuted. Yeah. Um, good. Uh, Andy, um, could we? Could you just mute everybody again, and then we'll unmute ourselves? That may have been partly our fault uh, for not muting. So we begin now with the prayer of preparation that's there on our sheets. Together we pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear the words of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me shall never walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Let us therefore bring our sins into his light and confess them in penitence and faith. A moment of quiet. And we pray together. Father eternal, giver of light and grace, we have sinned against you and against our neighbor. In what we have thought, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault, we have wounded your love and marred your image in us. We are sorry and ashamed and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and lead us out from darkness to walk as children of light. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And today uh, is Feast Sunday, so we're not doing our normal feast service, but we have today the collect the special prayer for St. Aya. And we'll hope uh, perhaps to do something um, in greater celebration of feast uh, later in the year, um, but details to be confirmed on that. But let's pray. O oh God, who each year gladdens us by the feast of blessed Aya, your virgin and martyr, grant that while venerating her memory, we may ever strive to model our lives after her holy example through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The and let's first, have our readings. Uh, the first reading is from Ephesians, chapter 3, verses 14 to 21. For this reason, I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name. I pray that, out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power, together with all the Lord's people, to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. And to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us. To him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus, throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St John. Glory to you, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light to all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world and through the world was made through him. The world did not recognise him. He came to that which was his own, for his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Well, good morning, everybody. Um, I just want to check that you can hear me. Can you wave at me if you can hear me? Brilliant. Thank you. So this morning, as Nick said, we are celebrating the feast of St. Ea, a saint about whom we actually know very little, but to whom the parish church of St. Ives is dedicated and from whom the town itself draws its name. Despite the lack of contemporary written details about this saint, we may still draw inspiration from the legend which grew up around her in medieval times. It's also worth noting that archeological finds in this area have confirmed that in the fifth century, there was a significant Christian community in St. Ives Bay. The lives of the saints point us to the transformational power of Christ through the Holy Spirit. And there are three ideas that stand out for me from the legend of St. Ea. Firstly, that her love of God moved her to an extraordinary adventure. Secondly, that she was determined to share the gospel of Christ with others. And finally, that she set up an oratory or a place of prayer. In this context, I'd like to highlight some verses from the reading from Ephesians this morning, which have been an inspiration and motivation for many followers of Christ. And these are, and I pray that you, having been rooted and established in love, may have the power, together with all the saints, to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. In writing this letter to the Ephesians, Paul is seeking the fulfilment of his vision for God's new society of love, which is both radical and fundamental. It is a transformed community, which lives in a totally different way to the generally accepted norms of first century Ephesus. They look after the poor, they look after the sick, and they care for people who are not of their family or their race. This is the new adventure to which the love which comes from God inspired the new church. In the fifth century here in Cornwall, each small Christian group probably also began to live in different way to those around them. 
This prompts a question for us. Are we looking for the new adventure that God is calling us to in the 21st century? What is God saying to us about our place in our town now and in the months ahead and the years? And how will we live this out? These are questions which we can pray about and which may be in our minds when we join together at seven o'clock on Wednesday evenings to pray the Lord's Prayer for the life and future direction of the church here in St Ives. A phrase which I often hear young mums use to their little ones is, I love you to the moon and back, as they try to express the limitless nature of their love. Paul does the same when he writes about the width, length, height and depth of Christ's love. It's the love which is shown when, as Paul writes in our gospel reading, the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. The gospel of Christ reveals this love to be so wide that it is that it encompasses all peoples. It's inclusive and welcoming. It's so long that it reaches from age to age and throughout all eternity. It's so high that it connects us to the heavenly places and it's so deep that it reaches into our innermost being. Yet, although we try to grasp Christ's love for us as shown through his life, death and resurrection, it will always surpass our understanding. But as Paul writes in Romans 8, nothing can separate us from the love of Christ. It is this immeasurable love that as Christians we must share with those around us as we are transformed into the people that God wants us to be, doing the work that he calls us to. In a previous sermon, I focused on the prayer of Paul in, Ephes in Ephesians 1. And once again, we have seen in Ephesians 3, Paul turns to prayer. In fact, his message in the first three chapters of this letter is like a prayer sandwich, as he puts his description of how the church should be unified and holy between expressions of prayer. Perhaps a hint that through prayer we receive both guidance and confirmation for our actions. The church here in St Ives can look back on centuries of heritage and reflect that prayer has always been at the heart of the Christian community in this area. And today we are still seeking to maintain and grow lives founded on prayer. When we reflect on the legend of St. Ia, we may smile at the improbable aspects of an unsubstantiated story, but that the heart of this account is an expression of a willingness to be part of something new and different, to be Christ-like in a new community and to ground all this in prayer. Transformation works best when the movement starts on the ground rather than from the top. So let us be at the root and foundation of what God is doing to transform our town. At the moment, because of the pandemic, we may feel that our horizons have shrunk to the absolute minimum, and it's all we can do to keep ourselves healthy, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. It may be worth taking time 
to look at the wide horizon of the sky and sea around us. And to remember that there is a bigger picture of which we are a part. As the former Bishop of Durham, Tom Wright has said, God wants us each to be works of art, poems for the community where we live, so that people can see what we're up to and discern the kinds of lives we lead as the impact God wants to make in the world. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, following the example of St. Aya, teach us to be faithful to our calling, both as individuals and as a church. Guide us in ways that we may serve you in good times and bad. As St. Aya sought to point to new life in Christ, enable us as a church to reflect the gospel of Christ as his body here in and around St. Ives. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Give true light to the world where many walk in darkness, believing that their own efforts make them wise. For those who put ideology before love, for those who think that personal wealth means they don't have to care for humankind, let all know that they may, they may be your children through faith and find your peace. Lord, in your mercy. Hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Inspire and guide all in our community who teach and guide others, our teachers and those struggling with, with giving home schooling, for those who lack computers or adequate broadband. As we come to learn of your creation, order and what has gone before, may we find greater reassurance of your love for everything you've made. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We bring before you those who know guilt and failure and feel burdened by carrying these heavy loads. Let them find forgiveness and wholeness through the cross and knowledge of your perfect love for them. We pray for those who are suffering emotionally at this time. 
And we pray also for our own emotional health. And in a moment's silence, in the quietness of our hearts or out loud, we pray for those who are known to us who are sick. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We remember those who have gone before, for those who for 587 years have celebrated the consecration of St. Ia Church with joy and thankfulness, for those who have maintained the life of the church here in St. Ives and now rest with the saints in glory. We particularly remember those whose anniversary of death falls this week. May they rest in peace and, and rise in glory. glory. Merciful Father, accept, accept these, these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you to all those who have contributed just now to those parts of our service, and especially Debbie, thank you for your words there. We come now to the peace, and uh, let me invite you to uh, unmute yourselves in a moment um, to sort of wave and, and greet everyone else on the Zoom call and here in church. Christ is our peace. In the one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And, and also, also with, with you. you. you know, that share as we're able a sign of peace with one another. Peace with you, one and all. And if you could re-mute yourselves again, if you haven't already, or maybe, and if you mute everybody, and then Joe will unmute me. Father, in Christ there has sprung up a light for the righteous. Accept the offering of your church and grant that Christ may shine in us to the praise and glory of your name. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Yes, Lift up your hearts. We give to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living word, through whom you have created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh. As your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin, he lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. And so we say, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through us, your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, 
Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. Who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself, made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of your kingdom. And with this bread and this cup, we make the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Lord. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Accept through him, our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love and unite us in the body of your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Savior has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one Christ. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. The body of Christ was broken for you. The blood of Christ was shed for you.
Let us pray. Lord, you fulfilled the hope of Simeon and Anna, who lived to welcome the Messiah. May we who have received these gifts beyond words prepare to meet Christ when he comes to bring us to eternal life, for he is alive and reigns now and forever. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. We finish by praising together in the words of the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, Receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. May God, who in Christ gives us a spring of water welling up to eternal life, perfect in you the image of his glory and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Have a good week. Bye. Have a good Bye. Week. Bye. 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 Bye.